Hello, welcome back to Blender CC Live Noding. In this video, we're gonna uh, take a look at how to create um, um, a horn. And this is gonna be simple and it's gonna be a uh, procedural. I will be using Spreadshock add on, but you can also do this uh, similar thing using animation nodes. So let's get started. I'm gonna delete everything. So we have clean scene, and I'm gonna switch to Spreadshock add on. And you might already can guess how I start. I will be using Spiral. I'm gonna save this real quick. Spreadshop Horn. So this is a, uh, oops. Spreadshop Horn. Procedural Horn. And let's use a fewer draw. That's the point, set the edges. We have this like Archimedes Spiral. Uh, I think we're gonna have just a smaller spiral so we have something that's kind of looking like a horn so now from here we can simply plug it into polyline viewer polyline viewer uh, in spare chalk is uh, actually a uh, will generate curve based on just vertices so that's really handy so you, you got something like this and you can you can control the radius right you can you can turn on this spline so it's a little bit smoother um, the trick here is really just to use the play around with the radius and play around with the twist if I turn on this curve uh, wire you can see we can twist this guy right but the twist is not accumulating so we need to use uh, some kind of trick just range float and let's try plugging this guy into the twist and let's increase this and you can start to see there's something going on there but we want to be exact because this is like a horn right we, we, we want to have like us the twist all along um, the horn so we need to count the number of points so this length get the vertices total and then plug into the count and now we have kind of the twisties all along so we can also use this to create a drill or screw maybe in the future I'll do that now we just need to use this radius we can also use this guy once again plug into the radius it's too huge now okay so yeah it is actually really that simple to create a horn and we can add more twists so you, you can if you add a lot of twisting you get like a double twist so it's really cool uh, result since this guy is a curve if you want to make like a mesh you probably want to convert it to a mesh and then here if you want to add details just use modifier you can do this using Spreadshop, but I like to do it using Blender modifier. You can edge split if you wanna have like a really hard edges like that. That's good for drill. But for what I'm doing, I will be using bevel and subdivision surface. So this one seems to have um, double twisting happening. But there you go. That's a quick look how you can generate a horn procedurally. So using spread chalk add-on as a bonus I will also give you um, how you can do this using animation notes <laughs> here I have Suzanne with a horn and we can make something that looks like a croissant and also something with a very interesting pattern like this that you can print out so that's quite complex right uh, I can tidy it up uh, tidy up that thing a little bit more but uh, I basically started with a circle and then with the circle I bring it into animation nodes and inside animation nodes we grab the the curve and then just grab the first curve and I'm using this uh, tilt tilt spline and I turn on accumulate so this is the this is the trick here accumulate um, the tilt similar to sphere chalk um, Animation nodes actually have a bunch of um, spline nodes that I haven't used. Um, this is really powerful. 
really it's um maybe some of the notes is actually something that spare Shop doesn't have but uh yeah i haven't touched animation notes for a very long time but i'm coming back to it animation notes is really powerful for animations it's uh it has different mindset from spare Shop. spare Shop is i think really good for modeling while animation notes is really really good for animations and of course somehow really good for um, spline modeling and in the latest version animation nodes also have a, a l3 system um, that's gonna be really fun to play with but this one doesn't have it yet so i will wait for that in the meantime you can try this exercise create a horn uh, create a horn procedurally using animation nodes or spare chop okay there you go hopefully you enjoy this uh, let me know what you think if you have any question just uh, ask me down below and thanks again for tuning in. Bye.